Well, y'all, I did it. Here she is. 50 ton low boy. 50 or 55, I can't remember. But it's been uh, pretty much reworked. Been sandblasted, painted. Uh, a couple things fixed here and there. <clears throat> I haven't hauled anything. Hopefully y'all see that in this video. I do need to... I'm going to go through and check the oil and the axles. And uh, I pulled it. I went to... I'm from Tupelo, so I went down to nearly Hattiesburg, Mississippi, which is over three hours from me. Long drive, and I hauled it. Went down there and picked it up, pulled it back home, and I would I would pull over and check it ever so often. You know, feel of the axles, and none of them felt felt even hot. So I'm pretty sure they're they're good, but I'm gonna go ahead and just change the oil anyway. But got a new decking on it I think he said these were three to me they look about three inches three and a quarter something like that of oak I am going to soak these in diesel and motor oil I would have already done it probably gonna do it in this video I just haven't I need to change oil in my truck and I don't have any burnt motor oil so I've got to do that before I can soak these down but <clears throat> good friend of mine i met him actually here on youtube he was one of the first subscribers and uh big supporter of the channel scott and uh he said man i got what you need and i didn't want to it was way out of my price range or really what i wanted to spend on a trailer right now i was looking for something way cheaper and just to get me by but after talking to him and and after pulling that gooseneck around and uh, just realizing like what I'm dealing with now with that 313 and the equipment I have it's They're toys, but they're not little boy toys anymore. You know, I'm getting into Into man size stuff, so I Need a man size trailer So I just bit the bullet and said, you know what? I want something I don't have to work on and I don't have to worry about So he hooked me up very appreciative of it uh thank you scott you my boy and uh i'm excited i haven't pulled anything with it like i said but hopefully i get to do that this evening and i go finish up with a 313 and load it on here and i think i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i could even put the skid steer up here And load the 313 on there i would try it but you know i need a little more experience i think i know i know the 306 and the, the 299 will fit no problem but it would be awesome if i can fit something on there with the 313 <clears throat> but that's a load so i'll wait till i'll get a little more experience and a little more comfortable so anyway let me i meant to walk around here and look at the tag on it oh uh, he did tell me that this trailer belonged to nasa at one time they used it to move around rockets or stuff for the rockets i don't know but i thought it was pretty cool that nasa owned it uh, down south mississippi of course i can't see nothing on the plate here i need to clean it up but uh it's the u.s department of the navy I think they got it from the military or whatever. It's a military military trailer at one point. So uh yeah. I can't wait to put something on it and, and just haul it around. I've been <laughs> I've been wanting to just load something on it and just pull it around, you know. But uh I guess the I'll video checking the oil and filling them up with some or checking the axles, filling them up with some oil and uh, putting some, uh, treating the deck on it right here. Because when I got it, it was raining. And uh, 
it's been sitting under a shed so I really wanted to make sure the boards were dried out because it's been raining here and I just haven't been I haven't gotten to it yet but but I'm excited I think it's in really good shape of course you know I'm sure I'll modify here and there add stuff to it I've got plenty of room up here to put whatever I wanted the jacks works really well on it and the truck seemed to pull it just fine I can definitely tell there's something back there you know it's a heavy trailer and it is it's a little longer than I wanted but pulling it pulling it back home and trying to get in and out of somewhere to eat uh, of course there was just nowhere for to really park but I was able to get in and out of places a lot easier than I thought I would be able to because even though it's the dovetail really that makes it look even that much longer but where the axles are it's not that bad I guess always somebody calling <clears throat> so uh yeah it's it's a little longer than I kind of wanted but at the same time tri-axle trailer I don't think I'll ever overload it I always say I won't do this I won't do that and then I wind up doing it but I, I just don't you know you're looking old, over a hundred thousand pounds I don't I don't see me pulling nothing and I don't think that truck can handle it no way so y'all stick around and uh let's work on it
All right, so I just got to load it up. Not gonna lie, it was a little scary. I had to move the first time because it's that on power line. I didn't realize I was right up under it. But uh, I'm not 100% sure where this machine should really sit. Uh, I'm just gonna try it right there. Y'all let me know, should I pull it a little more forward or a little more over the wheels of the uh, trailer. I'm gonna get her bound down and uh, head to the next job. Okay, so I've had this thing for probably, well, it's right at a month now. And I have yet to treat the deck boards on it because I had a blowout on it and then uh, had to wait on to get that fixed and then my truck had to go back to the shop and it sat on the job which y'all could see it in the other videos it sat on that job that I did the uh, little hillside clear in there but I got the tires fixed on it it's like $900 for two tires it's kind of ridiculous but it is what it is but I have got me and I had the deck cleaned on it and then today I moved the 313 to a uh, little pond dredging job that's coming up so that'll be something different what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sweep these boards off one more time and it's also been raining off and on so I wanted these boards to be really good and dried out before I soak them down <clears throat> So I got me a little concoction right here. Uh, I finally, another thing, I finally got me some uh, burnt motor oil out of my truck here. Uh, I used all the other stuff I had to start fires and stuff with. So I got me probably about two and a half, three gallon of oil mixed with about a gallon of uh, diesel. I don't know what the correct uh, the correct mixture ratio should be but I'm going to go with that it looks thin enough and should soak in there pretty good these boards are boards have been sitting out they dried pretty well so I'm going to sweep it off and then I'm going to soak it down alright I got to swept off I just got me an old mop here. So let's see what she does right here. Good gosh, it's hot. Soaking it in pretty good. Oh yeah. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna set you up on time lapse. That's all I'm gonna do is just coat it on, probably let it sit a few hours and put another coat on it. first coat on I think it's gonna do pretty good it's soaking in but it's a little slow but that's all right I'd rather it be that way than just run in and dry right up the biggest thing I think on the trailer deck or whatever or any kind of decking is is the Sun it's not the water you get it off the ground or whatever if you get it off the uh, ground so it can dry out water's not really going to hurt it but that sun beating down on it is is what's harder 
the hardest on it. That's what I see with these logs sitting around too. The logs that are out in the sun are the ones that rot the fastest. But <clears throat> So anyway, there's the low boy. Uh, it took me a minute to get this video out. But so far I'm really liking it. Uh, I need to... There's a couple, there's about two more tires on here that's going to have to be replaced. But uh, I found another guy that can do them a lot cheaper. I think the ones I found first was like $370 uh, or $80 something dollars just for the tire. And then you got to count the tubes, uh, that other thing that goes on them. And then you got to find somebody to put them on, which so they're split, split rims, so they're pretty dangerous. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm just not going to take the chance on learning how to do it and get hurt or whatever. But there's those two middle tires, which they're the tires wasn't bad. The trailer has just sit so long they dry rotted. It's not like they was wore out. They're just dry rotted. So you can see them right there. But hell, it still got half an inch of tread on them. But anyway, this thing can this thing can haul a load, uh, and my truck said it's it's been in the shop for about two weeks, and what it was doing the first time I ever pulled the machine, which the first part of this video was actually the first time I loaded the 313 on here. Oh, uh, the truck just did not want to pull it. You'd get above fifth gear and. It was all you could do to run 50, 50 mile an hour down the highway. And I was like, no, nah, something's not right. Uh, there's no way that this truck should be struggling. But what it was doing is it was stuck in D-rate, I guess, what they told me. It was trying to do a regen and something with a throttle body. So I wasn't getting but about half the fuel to it that it was telling it to. But, uh... They said about all I can do really is uh, just delete it, which I'm going to do that anyway. Just got to find somebody to do it. This truck doesn't have def on it, so that's a good thing. It's just got the DPF filter. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I pulled it the other day when I brought a 313 home off that one job. It was a hundred times better. Like this, it was daylight and dark. I didn't realize how bad it was because I've never been in a a big rig like this but the the trailer is heavy itself i don't know what the trailer weighs but let me see if i can see well i need to i need to see if i can clean this name plate up but uh the trailer is pretty heavy itself and i thought it was going to be a little difficult uh, pulling it because it's a little longer than i wanted but i guess because of where that the axle is on it it's really not that bad getting in and out i've been able to get in out pretty tight pretty tight spots so i feel a lot more a lot better about that now only thing i need to do on it now is i need to adjust the brakes on it you know like i said i haven't had a truck to do that so <laughs> I'll probably do that this coming week i'll get somebody here to help me do that and uh other than that She's good to go. I do got to put some oil in the axles. Go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't see them leaking anywhere, but I'm just going to go ahead and figure out how to drain them out if you can. I guess you can. And then uh, refill them. But uh, I got the oil to do that. I'm not going to go through all that on here. But uh, anyway, I'm happy with it. Appreciate it, Scott. Big Sexy is the name of the trailer, named after Scott Addison. Uh, anyway, enough about that. All right, I appreciate y'all watching, and on the next video or an upcoming project, I've got I got to do a little small land clearing, but where I just took the 313 to, uh, it's going to be a little pond dredging. So I'm excited about that. It's something different. Uh, 
I may get the excavator, you know, sunk up to the counterweight, but I hope one day I've been thinking about it is I'm gonna use the sawmill back there. I got my dad running it. Um, I'm paying him back for all those times he whooped me for no reason. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He needed to whoop my ass more than I should have should have got it but oh uh, anyway i want to do i'm gonna try to make me some uh some mats to sit on i think i can do it pretty easy and pretty cheap it's just gonna be a little more work you know as far as drilling the holes but i've got the logs you know so that's free so it's worth me taking a little more time compared to what those excavator mats cost so anyway all right i gotta change my numbers now on my dirt bike hmm. all right appreciate y'all have a good one